All right, well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the 35th annual Teddy Bear Parade that's hosted by the Sirotrus International Gresham. We're down here live smack dab in the middle of Main Street, Gresham, Oregon, USA, and with me today, my partner, Carol Nielsen, of course. She's been by my side for this event, and we're just having a ball. Carol, how are you? Love it. I really enjoy this, and thank you, Greg. Uh, this has probably been about our, you know, I don't know how many years, 30? Oh, probably together for quite a while. For 30 yeah. years. So we'll have to go for another 30 years, Greg, on this. Well, but this is always exciting. It is a blast. And the Sorofimus gets some help from other community groups. But it started all with you. It's your 40th anniversary as a Sorofimus. It is. Our, yes, it's we're It's the 35th as a parade. And we're going to get this thing rolling. And, of course, we're going to start like we always do. I believe we'll see the police officers probably yep. in the front lead. They are uh, in taking the Taking us out with the motorcycles. Absolutely. And they'll be coming down the road soon. You'll see a lot of teddy bears. A lot of animals. You've got some Absolutely. horses, a lot of four-legged friends, and some two-legged critters, too. And we so. have some music, so we're kind of got a, something for everybody Just in this. A little something for everybody. Yeah. Let's enjoy the show. Thanks so, for tuning in. Yep. And here they come, our finest, which is so great. They're always so helpful. Yeah, they always do a great job. So helpful. This is uh, Gresham Police Department's Traffic Division. This is just a couple of the officers. And uh, these guys do a great job. Now, if you usually meet them on the road, it's probably because they're reminding you of something that you're doing. Yes. And that's okay because they're keeping us safe. Really appreciate the men and women that make up Gresham's Law Enforcement Police Department. But they're Thanks also very, very helpful. I've seen them do just very kind things in helping people. And so Yeah, school resource officers right. too. But here come the banners. We want yep. to make sure we hit our presenting sponsors. Right, and, of and here's Weston Pontiac. Weston Pontiac has been our sponsor for many, many years, and we're so proud of that. And they also supply us a great many of the cars that we have our dignitaries riding in. Yep. So we, they just work with us every year, and we're so very grateful for that. Yeah, and you hear that siren, and I recognize those sirens, oh, but that's not break? from today's fire <laughs> engines. That's from yesterday's fire engines. And Brad Rowe, I believe, is driving this for Weston Fire Department. This is really kind of a... Cool little Chevrolet fire truck. This is from back in the day. That Good to is see you, Brad. Cool. And uh, you can Hi, see you Brad to buy newer cars than that, but he loves driving that old fire engine. Uh, and he's got the scouts with him, too. That is wonderful. That's Cub Scout Pack 6. They provide scouting activities for boys first through sixth grade. Hi. And you'll see these officers, too, in the fluorescent. A lot of yes. these are school resource or transit officers. Oh, is that is what cool. they are? Okay, here comes uh, right in this group are Angie Anderson and Sandra uh, Casales. They are our Live Your Dream Award winners, and both of these women are Sir Optimus members. Yes. And we're so very proud of them. And, Greg, you were just telling me a story about uh, Angie has got her own business, and so she's... Uh, Oh, and there goes our police chief. Police Chief Robin Sells just, just swung by. I wonder if we can get her to loop back around, but she's wonderful, speaking of powerful women. But, yes, Angie, what an amazing story. Yes. They're coming fast and furious, and Mount Hood oh, College Matt. is right here, and they're a presenting sponsor, too. Dr. Debbie Durr. Dr. Durr, how are you doing today? And uh, thanks for coming on out. Mount Hood Community College, Hi. wonderful to see you. And here we have the transitions from Mount Hood Community College, and we have one of our board members here, Diane McKeel, and our uh, transition group. Boy, they're moving them fast today, aren't they, yes, Bias? Yes, 50 years in the Mount Hood Saint. Look at that. We've got a St. Bernard this year. Oh, That's awesome to look see at him, him, too. So we're so Wonderful. excited. Sirotma's Dream It, Be It program, helping high school girls prepare for the reach the next level of the career goals. Thanks Absolutely. so much for the career support that you do at Mount Hood Community College. And here we go. Eastside Theater, I believe. Is I, that correct? Yeah, I think this is Eastside. Uh, and they're singing. Eastside Theater Company, nonprofit yeah. children's theater, yep. formerly known as the wow. Corporate Children's Theater. They're uh, downtown Gresham. They love the new location. And check out that by Loop Highway Towing. We use them a lot in our world do out there you, in I public safety. I bet you safety. do, don't you? Yes, we do. And so they, they are great. But you mentioned, you know, and she needs just a little more credit, Angie, with your dream of Oh, big. yes. Well, she started her own business. Yes, she and did. And she's doing it in her home. And she's doing T-shirts and hats and the embroidery business. And I know, Greg, you talked to her last night about moving to the city's. Yes, uh, the garage uh, storefront. Yeah, yeah, which, thank you. Dexter, Dexter McCarty Middle McCarty. School. Now, I was one of these Hornets back in the day. Dexter McCarty, look at them. They're 6th uh, through 8th grade students at Gresham Barlow. Staff and students committed to the we before me mentality where teamwork is key. Teaching to cause positive results. Thank you, Dexter McCarty. And again, home of the Hornets, which is where I used to be right is there. Is that right? Yes, back in, uh, I hate to say it, but 76, uh, 77. Uh. <laughs> Absolutely. So next we have Riverview Community Bank coming up, and they are our teddy bear sponsor. And we will have sponsors. We have 36 sponsors this year. Wonderful. So they are going to be spaced throughout the parade. And Riverview was founded on a desire to success in our community. They've been providing financial support for over 90 years. Each one is committed to ongoing financial success of every one of their clients. So you can count on respect and personalized service you deserve. And Kathy Grimes, I believe, was walking in that group. 
Very good. Well, thank you, Riverview, and thank you for the sponsorship as well. And uh, thank you, Metro East Community Media. We've got something kind of oh. cool this year with the boom truck. Obviously, we get a look at some folks out there. Looks like we got uh, a little family there, maybe divided. We got black and orange and uh, green and gold. But here comes <laughs> Hogan Cedars Elementary. Yep. Here come the Hawks. This is great. The Hogan Cedar Hawks are a lively group of kids, K through 5. Enjoy being one big happy school. They love their fall festival and the spring luau. School promotes healthy learning by doing an annual readathon and healthy living with a fun run. School has a great staff and they help parent, teacher, and student organizations. Thanks so much. Chris Baker and Rick Wise put this together. The wow. Hogan Cedar Hawks. Look at that. Very good. That's it's great good to see turnout, them. turnout, isn't it? Yep, and That's there's our principal, Elaine Luckenbosch. She's yeah. part of that group too, but yeah. Great group. Be respectful, be responsible, be safe, and be a hawk. There they are, the Hogan Cedars wow. Hawks. And we have adults, and we have children, and How students. You doing, Rick? And we, it PTSO is president right there leading the helm. That's very good. And again, their principal, their teachers, their staff, their students, everybody out to say hi. That's, that's a great Great group. showing for the Hogan Cedars Hawks. Wow. And it says here that there's going to be 20. I think we have more than 20. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> well, they put a question mark there, and they left off a digit. They've got a lot of that's folks. That's probably right. Yep. Good to see that kind of support for your school, for your kids, oh, for, the, uh, for the environment. Very good for this atmosphere. We're so lucky. We have such wonderful schools out here my goodness we have, don't have controversy or anything we're a very very fortunate community well and look at these kids they got their bears they got their umbrellas tucked away yeah. good for them and uh, yeah there's a little koala bear waving at us in the screen very cool They're darling kids seem to like the boom truck they spot it pretty quick don't they yeah they do outstanding way to go Hogan Cedars thanks for being here Hawks and we have this um, Jeep as part of what of them also yeah, this is Isis Sanchez. She's going to have a long walk with that one. <laughs> Isis Sanchez and her son Diego, they're riding in the teddy bear themed group. She's a real success story, winning Live Your Dream Awards at the club yes. and regional levels, and Quite going a on lady. to secure a Ford Family Foundation four year college scholarship. Congratulations. So, the next one we have is the Gresham Animal Hospital, and uh, they were the first animal hospital in East Multnomah County starting in 1944. Their business motto is We Will Pet Your Pet, and they certainly do. And I seen Dr. Chris walking around today. He's in the car He's driving. He's in the right car now. right there, there driving. He okay. He's dressed like a Dalmatian today. He is. Yep. And uh, behind him, appropriately, the uh, Oregon Equestrian Trails, the promote education of equestrians, other use uh, groups, and the use of LNT, which is Leave No Trace Ethics with Outdoor Ethics, Campground Etiquette, and Trail Etiquette. Thanks very much. The little ponies are out. That is, that is so cute. Good morning. Good morning. You look great. Look at the big horses. Little duck billed lady driving one yep, there. They and, got their uh, teddy bears on. And the cleanup crew. Oh my, look at they're sparkled. Yeah, and they look kind of excited to be out here. Look <laughs> at the smile on their faces as they go to clean up. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, Thanks that, for they're being an out important out here. part of every parade. You know that with, when there's animals. Yep, and we saw Dr. Chris just momentarily in Gresham Animal Hospital. And yes. you know, they take care of my little bulldog Zoe. Do they really? And uh, oh. my cat Chanel. Yes, so uh, Dr. Chris is pretty amazing, and they're he just a is. wonderful staff. Yeah. And he's just, he, you know, he's willing to do just about anything. I just love being around him because he's so enthusiastic. And so doing anything, Powell Valley Assisted Living and Memory Care for Aqua Sponsor. Here they are, Powell Valley. Thanks so much. Locally owned and operated. Take pride in their 29th year of successfully providing comforting care, purpose and joy to hundreds of residents and their families. Thank you, Powell Valley. They're also a proud employer to over 100 employees. That's pretty significant. It is. And uh, many of whom have been with Powell Valley for 5, 10, and 15 years, so it's always nice, too, oh. to see that kind of tenure in these facilities. Absolutely, Good and that's a wonderful facility. I go down there about once or twice a month. Oh, look at they did the windows. Can you look in those windows? We can just yeah, barely see them on the screen there. Them. But there they are. they yep. got some of their folks in there that are waving with the that's bears. That's cool. Good because, you know, everybody wants to be in a parade. It doesn't make, make any difference whether you're 2 or you're 102. You want to be in a parade. Well, and this guy wants to be in a parade every year. And this oh, is this our very guy, own Mayor yes. Shane Bemis. Would you like to talk about him? Well, this happens to be our wonderful mayor, and he was part of uh, helping us sponsor our teddy bear that we have down here. And they, every year, uh, grace us with their family and ride in a convertible. Thank you, Mary Bemis. Oh, yeah, the mayor and Alex Bemis, his lovely wife, and, of course, Luke and Jacob. And Derek might be driving. No, that's Marty Stone. That's Marty Stone driving. See him. And Mary, <laughs> thanks for all you do. And Alex, thanks for all you do. You are an amazing couple, and you do great work. And here's, and here's one Kirk of our city French. sponsor. He, Counselor Kirk French, we love this guy, too. And, and of course, he always, driving the yep, GMC brings truck. his grandchildren. And, and Cammie and Carly yep. and something about his daughters. I know he's proud, but they were on the amazing race. How about oh, that? that's Back in the right. Day. I remember that. Yes, they that. were. Yeah, season five. I remember that. Catch their highlights, folks. You won't want to miss it. 
And here's Counselor Jerry Hinton. Oh, and, look at oh, him. Oh, look at the little and one And his in granddaughter, there, Ruby, isn't she adorable, dressed as a little teddy bear? But <laughs> uh, it's only appropriate he's in an old Malibu like that. Yep. Counselor Hinton, you're looking great, sir. Yep. And Counselor Janine Gladfelter, Hi. too. Hi. So welcome her to the and council, And she's one of, of our new counselors that's out. This is probably her first parade this year as a counselor. Yep. So we're really pleased to it's have great her. great to have her. And I want to pay particular attention to the back window. Hate is not aggression value. Right. Those stickers on every vehicle in the city right now. I think and, that's uh, great. Yeah, the mayor's been part of a, a real push throughout the nation. And I'll tell you that about our council. They're very professional, very active, and uh, do a great job. Here's all about automotive. Automotive. President's car sponsor. They are uh, they sponsored the credit President's Club car for five years. They're a great supporter of Sorokman's Club. Karen and Steve Johnson also contribute time and money throughout the community. So all about automotive. Here they come. They're Looking great. Good. I've taken my cars there for years, and they are so good and so kind. I just love it, and they do a great job. And look Absolutely. at this little car right here, oh, this beautiful little and Corvette. To Karen, Karen and Steve right there driving that. And Connie Filbert. And Connie Filbert is, a, is our Seropinus president this year, and we're really pleased to have her riding in the car. And, of course, Karen and Steve, you know, they, they participate in everything. And here comes Small World Learning Center. They show up in, in numbers. Hey, Small World, great to see you. And they've got some help oh, from Oh, I think so. Small World Learning Center looking sharp. I see my little daughter Sammy right there. Explore with Sammy. There's Teacher Claire and everybody else out there. Thanks so much. Oh. Great parent group. Small World Learning Center for 32 years That's out there. Right. Locally owned and operated preschool. Education and fun become one. Voted for the best daycare, preschool, and learning center for nine years. Wow. And look at the big bear in the oh, seat. Look at, oh, look at all cute. the bears there. My goodness. We got bears. We got dogs. We got folks. We got Seahawks fans, even this guy right here, <laughs> who shovels the snow out of the driveway in the wintertime. He's oh, an amazing he? parent and help. I, oh, yeah. that's There's wonderful. There's a heck of a builder if you need somebody from Full Throttle Construction. See, Go this see that is all of Gresham guy. represented here. How wonderful. Yeah, we got some firefighters in the group there, Andrew oh. Wynn. We got great folks and staff, and obviously I'm partial to the group because, I, well. Yeah, because your wife is the, is the owner, and they, they have participated in every parade yes. since she started that business. There's great. And now we even have folks that used to be with us as kids, and now they're adults, and, and they've got their adults, own kids, and, and there's their kids Mindy are right there. there. And here that they go. That well. Very well, Small Education's World. Well done. Great. You look great. And next we have Kelly Creek. Their mission is believing the education of children is important. They promote high academics, respect individuality, uh, develop lifelong learners, and encourage respect and responsibility. And they have 10 to 15 people walking with them, and we thank them for that. And thanks, Nancy Torber, for putting it together. Very good. And now we have Kelly Creek. That's Kelly Creek right there, the Cougars. I love the car. Look at that little old car. Now, that's a pretty that car. That is beautiful. I seen that in the parking lot today. It stood out. It really stood out. It was pretty. Here comes the Blue Group. Pediatric Therapy Services are sponsored for Blue. Provide therapy in a fun, innovative, family-centered environment. Offer uh, a aquatic therapy in the pool. Now therapy services to adults as well. So pediatric therapy services also for adults. And they do right. some aquatic therapy, physical, occupational, and speech therapy. Thanks so much. The Blue Group sponsor pediatric Look therapy services. That's and again, flow. also adults. This is incredible. That's really pretty. Thank you, Jamie Bailey, for putting that together thank for you. us. And she's the owner of the group. And thank you so much. Look at the kids. They look adorable. And they're in the new building. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, yeah. So that's great. So riding in the blue group over here, we have uh, Juliet Conray. She's a Gresham Seropterimus Live Your Live Your Dream, an award winner in 2017. She is determined to further her education to improve both her life as well as her family's. And we're so happy for that. That's great. Very well, good. It's a pretty car. And that's a wonderful program you have, the Live Your Dream. That's, that's oh, great. Well, so here comes Scribbles. They're coming fast and furious, but Boy, they're they an are. educational preschool program for age three to five years, established in 2003. Graduated over 700 students from the Gresham surrounding areas. You can visit them at scribblespreschool.com for more detailed information about the program. Thanks to Jill Russell for putting the float together. Wow, look at this. All, all the yeah, yellow. They've, they've got an that. impressive display, too. They do. Look at all those little ones. Nicely done, Scribbles. Thank goodness they don't all have to walk. They, the little legs would be worn out. Oh, I know. And the parents, you know, it takes it takes a, a whole world for these to raise these children, and I'm grateful oh, yeah. for all these parents that turn out and help and everything. We need this for our kids in today's society. Well, it's great support to the schools. It's great support to the businesses. Great support to the kids. It's great to Absolutely. see them. Absolutely, little princess out here this morning. Yep. Look at that little crown. Very adorable. They're darling. Thank you, Scribbles. So what we have here is next should be Gresham Saturday Market. Yeah. And they have a variety of unique vendors from mid-April through September. I think today is their last day. 
And so they check us out, check them out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And you can go to Saturday Market, sign up for the newsletter, and have a chance to win Market Bucks. It's free. So oh, they look great. We love them. Yeah, they are great. Boy, a great way to spend a Saturday morning. Jewelry, art, flowers, all kinds of things. Absolutely. And here comes U.S. World Class Taekwondo. They're the Northwest's largest professional martial arts school, founded in 1988. Students required to volunteer in order to obtain their black belt. Wow, in addition to producing them. active citizens in the community, they also produce champion athletes that have won national and world titles. They have programs for children and adults, recreational or competitive levels, and they're accepting new students daily. Wow. Look, look at this at group. Wow. Yeah. I don't know that I could go up and kick those big paddles like that. Well, Master Sam Ladder is leader of the group, but I'll tell you, I really get a kick out of this group, Carol. Do you? <laughs> oh, got it. <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> They are wonderful. <laughs> Look at how many kids are doing wow. it. And, and it also teaches great discipline to these students. Oh, yes. you know, it's, it's a wonderful thing. So thank you very much. U.S. World Class Taekwondo. Great. Oh, we already have one asleep. Oh, dear. Our little fuzzy friend. Well, she's too balled up in now that pink little yeah, outfit. Now oh, she's we woke her up. She looks adorable. Great to see you. Large U.S. World group. Class Taekwondo. That's really nice. So now we have guys and dolls. Oh, great. This is San Barlow Theater Department. The guys yes. and dolls, November 10th through the 18th. Wow. Considered by many to be a perfect musical comedy, Guys and Dolls ran for 1,200 performances when it opened in Broadway in 1950. Wow. It has hits like Luck Be a Lady, a Bushel and a Peck, and I've Never Been in Love Before. Oh, I've heard those before. Yeah, how about that? Good for them. So next we have the Gresham Barlow School District, and their superintendent is Dr. Christy Piera, and, oh. and her husband is riding with them. Yes. Dr. Catrice Pereira, if you've not met this woman, let me tell you, she is dynamic. Love her. Welcome to the community. Great to see you. And uh, Welcome. thank you very much. And Raji, yes. thank you very much for supporting her and letting her move to Gresham. She's going to do amazing things for this district. And I see James Hugh is driving. Wonderful for James. But they're an entry. Oh. Students, principals marching in the schools. Gresham Barlow School District, 11,000 students in 18 schools. So we have Powell Valley going, Elementary School going by. Hi. Look at the little kids. Their little legs are going to be worn out by the time they're done. They're they are. So I can't figure out if they're all spread out or what happened there. But that's Powell Valley. Know. Well, sometimes, you know, we, we, we have them all lined up, and they're to go out according to how we have it all worked out in our chart. But sometimes things, you know, when you're dealing with almost 2,000 participants, sometimes oh, yeah. things get a little bit oh, messed yeah. up. Well, that little girl pulling okay. the wagon and waving, all. too. Now, look at her go. Very good. Oh, you look my. great on camera. Very yes. nice. Very cute. And uh, I think I think what we have here is just a large group of schools coming bunch. from Gresham Barlow School District. Yes, They're making I, up a little space. I, I think so. So now we have Holly Dale. Yeah, Holly Dale Elementary School down there. Uh, wonderful little school. Oh yes. So see, we got a, we've got several different schools. Yeah. Uh, and they're down on Birdsdale, of course, uh -huh, Southwest Gresham, uh -huh. right off of Powell. Hello. Great to see Holly Dale and the Honey Bears out this morning. Good for them. Yes. East Gresham Eagles are out in, in full force. Or at least a few folks grabbing yep. the sign. They just got a few out and here. Deep Clear Creek. Creek Middle School and yep. Deep Creek Damascus. Clears. Yep. And what's this? Gordon Russell. Gordon Russell Middle School. There they are. And Springwater With High Thunderbird. Trail. Good to see you. Good morning. And Springwater Trail High School, too. Yeah. Another that, great opportunity. Yep. Now we have San Barlow High School. And we have a band coming. Now, you oh. know me. I get all jacked up about these bands. I just love them. This is what a parade really becomes That's all about. That's what it is all about, yeah. You get a marching band of any kind. You get a band out there running. We got the Bruin out front, and we got the big yellow truck. And here comes San Barla Bruins. Folks, we're going to slow this Good. down and just let you kind of hear this band. There's their principal pulling pull the, pull the head. That's great. How about Sam Barlow? The Bruins in the here. house. Yep. We've got the cheer group. I believe we've got a dance team out there as well. Barlow dance, Barlow cheer. Great to see you. Thank you, ladies. Gentlemen. They look great. Got the band. Very cool. So now we have Multnomah County Animal Services. And uh, they are pink. Uh, they are featured in pink. And they're volunteers. And they're from Multnomah County Animal Service in Troutdale. The shelter service... Uh, services lost are homeless animals throughout Multnomah County, including Portland. Look what they have here. This is pitties in pink. Oh, These are isn't pit that bulls sweet? that get a real bad rap. Look at that. And look oh, at them. Look they're, at they're, that. they're very cute. Look at these little oh, doggies look, in they're pink. They're waving at us. How adorable is that? I love that. Very cute. That is Multnomah darling. Multnomah County Animal Services, good for them. That's okay, now, great. Okay. Oh, now so they're coming forward. We have East Orient 
Elementary School and East Orient is a community of learners working collaboratively to inspire every student to be a responsible problem solver who strives to make a difference in the world. Be safe, be respectable, and be responsible. I love that. And thank you, Amy Buren, for putting it together, and Kathy Clark, our head secretary, of course, and uh, our principal's out front pulling the wagon. That's great. Do you notice how many principals we have involved today? It's, it's I great think to it's see. It's wonderful. And uh, also, just because you're on TV, go Cowboys. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but uh, here we go, folks. Uh, Fire District 10. They brought this old rig out to show a little support for East Orion as well. Wow. This is great. John that Hill. That's great. Wow. I knew that little gal when she was about nine years old. Oh, now she's got a kid on her lap. That's great. Great see, to see him. We're, we're showing our age. <laughs> I know. I, I don't mind. West Orient Middle School right behind him. So. Yeah, wonderful. And Mr. Gestern, I believe. You know, this. Is that Miss Catanese, too? Yes. Elise Catanese, there she is. Our principal of West Orient right there with our assistant principal. Very good to see you. Wonderful. Okay, so ha now we have Highland um, Elementary. Yes, we do. So that must be part of the school district. Yes, indeed. They're the Huskies up there in Northeast yep. Gresham. Yep. And we have Jan Baker walking with them. Yeah, she's helping them out, group yep. number nine. And, and look at these kids. We got them lined up again. And again, this is wonderful to see parents, kids, and families. Uh, but also we have some teachers and we have edu uh, some of the uh, administrators, which yeah, is really wonderful. which is great. Yeah. The enthusiasm hey, hey, hey. In, the, in the schools. That's what we need. It is great. And they've got a mascot with them today. Which is pretty cool. We haven't had a lot of mascots. Oh, Great to yep, see this one. Yep. Oh, there There's we the do. husky right there. Yep. Yeah. Gotta love the Highland Huskies. Hi. They used to be right in my own backyard up there. Is that right? Yeah. Hi, absolutely. hon. There well, you that's are. Great. Hi. Good morning. And so now we have uh, Umqua Bank. And Umqua Bank is the largest community bank on the West Coast. They were founded in 1953 in Canyonville, Oregon, and its headquarters remain in Oregon. And as a community bank, they provide paid time off to all their associates to serve at local schools and community development of youth organizations of their choice. Uh, Emco Bank, where our vision is to be the world's greatest bank, providing personalized biz banking for all of us anytime, anywhere. And so far, they've got the uh, most difficult. Oh, uh, they've got the unicycler wow. juggling. And yes. a, a dog with a hat and a man with cool glasses. So and they're all dialed in there. Looking <laughs> very good. Umqua bank or bust. <laughs> Umqua bank or bust. So. Look at them go. Now we have Metro Contra. Shirley Craddock. Shirley Craddock. She's going to take a little photo of She's us. She's going to take a photo of us. We very should be cool. taking a photo of you. <laughs> and there's and her husband, husband, who's a heck of a golfer, uh -huh. Dick Craddock. And thank he you very sure much. He sure is, isn't he? They Metro live in the counselor and former city councilor, right. Shirley Craddock. And here's Clear Creek. Clear Creek Preschool has been providing low-cost basic education. For over 40 years, they are a nonprofit, faith-based school upon, uh, open to all in the community. And, oh, they got quite a group here, too. And so their curriculum gives children a head start on their education, prepares them for kindergarten, all the while having fun and enjoying being a kid. Well, that we all start out being a kid. Hi, honey. <laughs> and I keep seeing these kids I knew when they were 10. Now they've got kids marching with them. And there's, uh, well, at one point, Bethany Kirsten, but it's different now. Congratulations. She's a teacher and she's married. She's got a kid in the parade. She's got a kid in the parade. Love this Gee, town. That it's a is constant great. reminder of everything that's great and about that's Gresham. What, you know what? These people are staying in Gresham because we have so much to offer. Let's that's look at the little part. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle on your screen, folks. Wearing a helmet. Oh, there. Very good. And he's got his little bear tied up. And there goes Ginger Abs. She's walking with so the Empire Bank. That's great. Oh, and here we have Lee Kinnear DeVore. She's one of our lifetime members of Sir Optimus. She was one of the original ones that started Sir Optimus 40 years ago in Gresham. And she's driven uh, by Pam. And she's also, Pam is from Powell Valley, and she's also one of our chamber, um, chamber members. Excuse me, that goes way back, doesn't yeah, it? One go. of our Sir Optimus members. Well, here's the Eastside Timber Soccer Club. They're Eastside's premier soccer club. They provide soccer programs, youth from 4 to 18. Also have top soccer for children with disabilities to allow them opportunities to play soccer as well. Thanks very much, Eastside Timbers. I would imagine the majority of players either have a game today or they're playing right now. Right. Okay, and here's Golden Montessori. Golden Montessori was established in 1970 and has remained in the family ever since. They're the second generation is now operating it. It's a Montessori preschool teaching three, four, and five-year-olds who need that extra year of school before entering kindergarten. They go on field trips throughout the school year, and their families participate in just about everything they do, and we're so happy for that. That's Absolutely. Bill and Mary Hayes. Yep, and here's that cool bus. I yep. love seeing the oh, bus every there you year. Go. I love that bus. I'd love to know when it's for sale. It is gorgeous. Oh, there you go, Greg. That's cool. <laughs> Golden Montessori. 
Thank so we you very expect much. you in here one day with that bus. Oregonians Credit Union. All right. They were established in 1936. They provide tools for a better financial future to Gresham residents and beyond. Located in the heart of downtown Gresham, the credit union, Oregonians Credit Union, has the tools you need to secure your ideal financial future. It's great to be an Oregonian. Thank you, Howley Bears. Appreciate it very much. And so now here we have the Gresham Barlow Youth Baseball Softball uh, Group, and they're all about having fun, making friends, and playing ball. They have... They had nearly 500 kids ages 4 to 15 participating in 2017 and 35 baseball and 10 softball teams. Games are played at Main City Park and other local school fields in, in and around the city. Summer baseball teams participate in tournaments in June and July. And so we've got to wait. Their registration is uh, for 2018 will open soon on December 15th. So if you're interested in being part of the Gresham Barlow Youth Baseball Softball, you need to get in there and register before the year is over. There we go. Well, you know, and we're not even halfway through this program, and we still got them kind of coming at us pretty quickly. We do We today. do want to get in a few talking points about the Seropimus, but we're going Absolutely. so fast right now. We got the North Stars coming our way. Yep, we This do. is North Gresham. Uh, North Gresham Elementary. Uh, they have a K-5 through school serving 550 students up there, the North Gresham North Stars. They're a great group, and they they're located off great. of 217th up there. Uh, last fall, voters supported the Gresham Barlow Bomb means the students are going to have the privilege of moving into a new school in the fall of 2019, which is exciting. Fall of 2019, there'll be a new North Gresham for the North Stars. And uh, we're going to wave at you if you're taking photos right there. Okay, very good. Go North Stars. And Michelle so Carter, thanks. I want to talk about some of our you know, uh, sponsors that we've had this year. I've been so great. And we've now turned it into a turned it into a fundraiser rather than a friend raiser because this is how we give our scholarships away to yes. our many young ladies um, and students so that they can further their education. And, and, and we're we so had, proud to be able to do absolutely. that. Absolutely. We had Warren Allen just pass by, and Warren has sponsored the parade for five years. Uh, Full-service law firm for 35-plus years. Thank you, Warren, and the Arthur Academy. Academy we'll get back to Warren. is a public charter school in Gresham Barlow District, and they use a, a district instruction model to support students K through five as they work hard, get smart. And that's Shannon Chisholm, and she helped me last night so much when it yes. came to unveiling the teddy bear. We were so. And she also works on the Spirit of Christmas, which is another she great does. event for downtown Gresham. But I also yeah. want to mention again Warren Allen, sponsoring the parade for Amen. five years now, but a full service law firm for 35 years. Warren, sorry we missed you on the banner, but uh, we appreciate your support. And thank you so much for all you're doing. Absolutely. So now we have a Commissioner Lori Stegman. And I will say that Lori started out, she is a Seroptimist member, and she uh, started out as a city councilor, and then she went on to become city, uh, I mean, a county commissioner, and we're just so proud of her. And, um, well, we have a whole thing on her, and I think I could read it because we have a little bit of a, a, a slag here. So in her first budget season, she was successful at funding the Mount Loma County Sheriff's Office Homeless Outreach Program. That's called HOPE that increases support for East County communities to improve livability and the delivery of service. I'll tell you this, though, Carol. What's amazing about Lori is her young daughter, who is also one of the youth Rachel. advisory committee members. But, folks, we're at the uh, 35th annual Sir Optimus International Gresham Teddy Bear Parade. 35 years doing this right down here on Main Street. Absolutely. 40 years of the Sir Optimus, And the Sir Optimus means best for women. Uh, that's yes. what the organization yes. strives to achieve, best for women. And you're getting all this through Metro East that does an amazing job filming with the boom truck and with the cameras. And, Carol... Tell us a little bit well, about your, your programs. Well, Sir Optimus is an international organization. We're all over the world, and we, we try and help in the community, and one of the things we do is give scholarships out uh, through uh, to the deserving students from um, the transition program at the college and other, other young women. We also collect bras throughout the year that are new or slightly used that we send to third world countries because they don't have access to them. And so we've shipped like maybe 6,000 bras over last year over wow. overseas. Wow, that's amazing. And, so, and then we have a mentoring program that we work through down here at Rosemary Anderson School. And we do That's a Dream It Be It program. So That's great. And here's Salt. They oh, yeah. did a dance for us last Didn't night. Didn't they do a great job? So Harvest brought the kids out last night and her yes. daughter choreographed this great little thing, the teddy bear dance. They did a wonderful job. They did a Salt great Academy, job. Salt Academy, nonprofit performing arts academy. They're known for a wide variety of dance classes, extensive music and original musicals. They're offering over 50 classes of children as young as two, point, two and a half years. They also have adult classes too. So they're located on Main Street and they are getting ready to... Uh, to kick out a new, oh, there's Harvest there. Harvest, right there. Uh, you're looking uh, a little 
beautiful as always, but a little older than I saw you last night. Yes. Yes, yes, well, good for you, and uh, that's going to be a great little program yep. they're putting together, too. And here's Restore Hope. Restore Hope is a Gresham-based nonprofit dedicated to keeping children of all ages safe from child sexual abuse and helping adult survivors heal. Wonderful. And Restore Hope facilitates the stewards of children abuse prevention training for adults. They are bringing survivor Matthew Sandusky to Portland on October 17th. Oh, Santa Claus! Santa! Oh, I oh. love you, Santa! It's great to see you, Mrs. Claus. Thank you. I love That's Santa. That's not too far away. Oh my gosh, what a this is a huge surprise for that me. That is great. I, I love Santa Claus. He is so great. Well, so and generous. You know so what giving. we do? We open up the city too when we have uh, Christmas. Greg, you're an yes. MC at yep. our annual holiday affair. So yeah, and the Hall Hurricanes are taking. Uh, they're they're back behind Santa. They're diverse, enthusiastic neighborhood school. Off of North uh, East 23rd, they have many dedicated parents and teachers in the school. They all love Gresham. Thank you very much, Hall. And this and group before Clackamas. us right now is Clackamas County Bank. They were established in 1911, and they're the oldest community bank in Oregon, and they serve four locations, which is Sandy, Welch's, Boring, and Gresham. And as a community bank, they focus on providing exceptional customer service and products to both business and personal customers. CCB invites you to come in and experience the the difference. And today we have Judy Alley. Oh my goodness, Julie. Good morning, Judy. Judy is retiring. Oh my gosh. And uh, Snowcap is one of our wonderful nonprofits that we have in the community. And she's being replaced by her assistant. And I know she will do as good a job as Judy. And we got the Patriots volleyball. Uh, we've got Phonics Factory coming, uh, coming to us. Phonics Factory Patriots serving the community for 25 years. Emphasis on educational excellence and self-governance. The Phonics Factory, and as you saw, the Patriots, 350 students are leaders in the community due to scholarships in the areas of reading, writing, and math. It's the place where kids love to go to learn. The Phonics Factory and the Phonics the Patriots. The yes, they've that's even got their great. volleyball team out today. So great to see the Phonics Factory out here, and thank you. And thank you, uh, Monica Barham. Thanks so much. Great to see the support for the Phonics Factory. Wow, look at all of them. That's wonderful. And these little girls and boys are in a parade. Everybody wants to be in a parade sometime in their life, and this is such an opportunity for them to do that. Again, more kids having kids than I've seen since <laughs> they were kids. This is amazing. Great to see you, Ellen. So here the next we have the, the Baha'is. They, are, uh, they believe in the oneness of God, the oneness of religious truth, the oneness of humanity, and the elimination of all forms of prejudice. Amen. Baha'i is, is seeking the betterment of the world through selfless acts of service and by playing spirit, spiritual principles in everyday life. The Gresham Baha is hosting a special commemoration at Mount Hood Community College October 21st, to which everyone in the community is invited. I love that. Very good. And we've seen them a number of years. And yes. they've been through with the big old world on a trailer, and they've uh, got a nice little float display, too, this yes, year. Yes, they so do. That's, and that's here great. we have, oh, Jane Patterson is one of our Seraphims who's also walking. And this is Brookdale. And they are a deaf and blind senior citizen community. And we're pleased to have them today. Very great to see them. Brookdale Chestnut Lane. <laughs> So they're located right down the street, really close. Great uh -huh. to see them. Chestnut Lane Rocks, very good. Oh, they did their windows also. Great to see them out yes. here. Yes. Very good. Brookdale, Senior Living Solutions, all the places life can go for the deaf and deaf and blind. So now we have Fred Meyer. Oh, my goodness. Well, I believe Look the big old rig is still uh, is Chestnut this? Lane. That's huge. Wow. That, that is, is great. Yeah, great that is great. Oh, nice. Boy, that's you need be, a ladder to get into that one. That's got to be fun to walk behind for Fred Myers, huh? Yes. So and they're supported by Kroger, Lamborghini. very active in the community. The one-stop shop, Fred Myers donated items to local backpack events, snacks, and tree lighting ceremonies, and clothing to shelter events at the local churches, too. Fred Myers participated in the Teddy Bear Parade on and off for the past 20 years. Thank you, Ava, for putting that together. Fred the oh, Bear's out look here. look at that. Great to see Fred. All right. Lots of characters. Fred Myers. If it's not at Fred Myers, I don't know that you need it. <laughs> Amen. So the next one we have riding in the 
Our color group is Shannon Smith. She's a 2015 Live Your Dream winner from Seroptimist. Shannon has completed her education and now works in the transition program at Mount Hood Community College. We're so happy to have, this is, you know, 2015, so see these women are progressing. And we have State Representative Carla Palooza. Oh. She's walking right behind the Black, th the black Firebird. Yep, but she's, there uh, she is. There she is right there with the bear in the pink jacket, expanding opportunities by focusing investments on providing high quality public education. Oregon House District 50, Representative Carla Peluso. So now we have the Gresham Lions Club. They are 15 members who meet every Thursday morning at 6.45 at the m and &M. And anyone who would like to join them is welcome. And the club supplies eyeglasses and hearing aids for children, adults who cannot afford them. Great mission. Yeah, they do a great job. They're getting ready for their... Uh, They've got a big event coming up for the uh, Civil War, and then, of course, uh, oh, that's right. they, they do that, they don't donate they? donate those funds, too. So right. they do a wonderful job. And, and here come the Scouts, Pack 664. Great to see Cub Scout Pack 664. Boy Scouts of America is the nation's foremost youth program of character development, training young people in citizenship, service, and leadership. How you doing, Top? Great to see you, sir. The program instills lifetime values and develops ethical character through fun and adventure. Pack 666 formed in 79 and has participated in Teddy Bear Parade for 18 years. Great to have them. Good. And next we have here uh, National American Miss Queens. She's riding uh, Miss Queens is Princess uh, Kobe Carter. And then we have we have several of them. We have Junior Preteen, Lita Flores. Junior Teen, Shayla Montgomery. Teen, Annika Pounds. Miss Brandy Urban. And Preteen, uh, Dejea Fitzwater. And they're all the girl volunteer in our community, as well as attend events to empower other women and girls. Right on. Great job, ladies, and thank you, Sheila Montgomery, for putting that together. And now here comes, I believe, well, no, well, we got, we got more float going on for the group, so that's great. So this, oh, this is, an, this is part of it. This is Shayla Montgomery. Yep. So she's yep. 2017 National American Miss Oregon Junior Teen. So great to see you, Princess. How pretty. I love the convertibles. Do they call them Princess when you're Miss Teen? I, I don't, you know, I don't really? want to overstep, but I don't. Know. I may but have just it's crowned written her. here. We'll turn. She's we'll, got a beautiful tiara. Yeah. I'm going to go with Princess. You go Queen. for it. She's she's amazing. So now we here we have Soapy Dog. Um, um, oh, mobile grooming. Yeah, great Soapy idea. Soapy Dog is proud to be part of the Gresham community. Tank Wright is the owner, operator, and a lifetime Gresham resident. Tank is a certified groomer with over 100 regular customers. Quality, safe, and convenient for Tank Wright. That's great. I, I love that. I don't think Zoe's going to be happy that I just saw Soapy Dog, her <laughs> next mobile dog groomer, but that's exciting. Oh, here we go. Uh oh Murder in Wonderland, an unbirthday party, Gresham High School Drama Department, Murder Mystery Dessert Theater, October 6th through the 8th. There's a kid that's going to go places. He's trying to get on camera, and yeah, he just I, made no, it. That, I, I can't do that. how they do that with their fingers nice. like that. That's the whole Spock thing. I don't get it. So speaking of getting it, let's talk about Dream It and, and who you're targeting with the program. So Dream It, Be It, so uh, career mentoring for 14 to 17 year old girls, providing girls with tangible strategies. But right. what else do you do? Well, so what we do is we put those together. We put a program together and we call it modules. And this is what we went into uh, Rosemary Anderson School. And they're young in, at the school. A lot of these young women have not had an opportunity in school or in their family lives to have role models and to learn how to be leaders in communities. And so that's what we do. We go in and we have eight modules and we work with these girls and it's amazing to hear their backgrounds. And it's also amazing to, after going through this eight, eight modules with us, how they've grown. It's yeah. just absolutely wonderful because we all need a role model. Absolutely. And, and to go after, and to follow rather. And um, the school works with us beautifully on that. So we're really free, we're really, uh, thankful for that. And we got somebody coming right now, and this is yep. Gresham High School, the Gophers. Here's their band, their cheer squad out front, of course. Gresham was 3-0, and as you heard the mayor say, but yep. I think they fell to 3-1 last night. Yeah, that's all did. right, Gophers. Pick up, that's yourselves That's okay. Off. Once in a while, that's okay. I'll tell you who's never losing, though, lately, is this Gresham Rhythm Mets. The Gresham Rhythm Mets oh, High School good. Rhythm Mets dance team, they're an amazing group. They're used to victories in their class. They're incredible. Yep. They're always and, good. Uh, you know, yeah, they, they really do a great job. Eli Lofton there, right yeah. there looking sharp. And then we have the band. Yeah. I don't know why those guys aren't playing, but hate to toot your own horn, guys, but feel free to join in. Come <laughs> on now. It's nice to have music. Oh, I love it. So, I love a band. what we have now is coming up is Gresham Rotary. 
and they award $20,000 in scholarships every year to high school students to attend Mount Hood Community College. They send over 50 homeless and needy children to Camp Collins every year. They provide dictionaries and children's books to local schools and nonprofits. And I got to tell you, they are all over the community. They helped oh. us at the museum to, yep. to do all of our landscaping. They are wonderful. And Carlos Noriega, the president, of course. Right? Now, here's Sir Pro Gresham over 25 years. They've been providing emergency services and clean up to homeowners and businesses that have experienced a water loss or a fire. <laughs> Dennis Besford. Oh, he's got a little, a little yeah. deal going there. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, so this is a uh, West Gresham grade school. West is a fairly small school, but they are mighty. Oh, absolutely. Each student gets the attention and education they need to grow and to be good citizens. They have an awesome group of volunteers to help support the school. West is best with Lori Walker as principal there. We thank you them for participating in to oh look at this yeah. in part in today's parade so cute. right across from the post office too Hi. West Gresham just a beautiful old school I get it it but is bond, isn't it things are changing in this town we're excited that folks said yes so what? this is Mount Hood Dance Academy and they offer many forms of dance including ballet jazz lyrical tap and hip hop for ages three and up they are located in the heart of downtown Gresham and Brittany Cruz is with them today. That's a pretty good, oh, look at the little tutus. Now here comes Solutions for Smiles. They're the white color group sponsor. They are owned and operated by Drs. Rabbi and Mindy Sina. Uh, their dental practice is located on Southeast 122nd, and this is their second year as a parade sponsor. Thanks for your sponsorship. Solutions for Smiles, known for their comprehensive oral health and treatment options and each client's comfort and trust, receives their highest priority. So great for them. We appreciate them being here. And again, their second year sponsoring Thank you, doctors. And you know what? They are uh, Kate Allister, one of our, our uh, Seropteryst members. They are her dentist. Well, and here's who you're so going to see when you're in there smiling. I know. Uh, we got to go in and get her smile. Absolutely. And yeah. we appreciate it again. Their sponsorship, <laughs> their salutes for smiles. Hi, hi. A couple of doctors and their kids in that car. Very nice. Thanks yes. for all your work and thanks for your sponsorship. Again, located on 122nd and their second year as a parade sponsor. So next we have uh, riding in this white color group is the 2013 Live Your Dream Award winner from Seropolis again, Sule uh, Whitlock. Sule has earned her bachelor's degree and is working now towards her master's from Incredible. one of our winners in Dream It Be It. So we're really thrilled. To oh, have, that's great. You know, that goes back a ways. So many success stories. And here's the future right before right us. Right here. So yep. Valley Panthers. These are some of the kids that could be, you never know, some recipients of your of your great Someday, uh, yeah. giving. Uh, right. Their Powell Valley uh, PTC raises thousands of dollars each year, goes all back into the school and the students. Their funds buy technology, classroom supplies, and pays for the field trips. So their PTC also hosts several community events, uh, such as a holiday craft fair and a spring carnival. So great. thank you for putting that together, the PTC at Powell Valley, Powell Valley Parent Teacher Club. Wonderful. Oh, now here we have the Mount Hood uh, quilt Guild, uh, Mount Hood Quilt Guild provides monthly meetings where people who love quilts and quil quilting come together for educational programs, challenges, exchanges, charitable opportunities, and more. They meet the second Tuesday of every month at Mountain View Christian Church, and the guild is two years old and has grown to more than 150 members. Beautiful Those quilts. Quilts are gorgeous. They're protected from the rain, of course, but yes. they, are, they are just gorgeous. Oh my, look at this. Family of Friends Mentoring. They believe in the power of relationships to change lives. Professional staff to support them. Kids and volunteers build enriching friendships that make the community stronger. Join the movement, become a mentor. Thank you, Michelle Costa, for putting it together. Family of Friends Mentoring. Now, Changing the world has never been this fun. I yep, love the yep. shirts. I have to admit to you that I don't know how to print football, football. Football, so Cuervos Football Club. They, uh, they're up and coming youth soccer club. That's what it is, okay. They provide education, uh, fun programs for kids of all ages. They have a good time while they're learning. Uh, the club also does volunteer work such as cleaning parks, planting trees, which teaches the kids to help around the community. Alberto Vasquez is with them and they have 75 marchers today. Wow, and here's the Reynolds Oregon School Employee Classified Union Association, the OSEA. They're in the Reynolds School District. They're bus drivers, cooks, educational assistants, and secretaries, the support staff, everyone but teachers and administrators. These folks are driving the ship daily, and we appreciate the difference you're making in our kids' Absolutely. lives. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Our bus drivers, our cooks, our educational assistants, and our secretaries, thanks so much to the wonderful support staff. They also collect newborn clothes and supplies for school nurses to distribute. That's kind of cool. That is cool. So next we have uh, Prestige Senior Living and uh, Prestige Post Acute provides acute uh, 
uh, skilled nursing and for long-term care. They offer 24-hour nursing care along with physical, occupational, and speech therapy. Leslie Workman is their administrator, and they have 40 people in this today. That's good. Well, that's a great turnout. Good for them. It is. Hi. Man, I wish I knew we could have counted all the teddy bears that are in here today. Yeah. Everybody has a teddy bear or two or three. Hey, they're going to spin us for a little bit of a loop here, but we got world champion Taekwondo. A couple groups forward, right. two Olympic yep. gold medalists, founded world champion Taekwondo. Master Shulon Kim leads the Gresham location. Thank you, Master Kim. Wow, look at and that. And thank you very much, world champion Taekwondo. Wow, what a group. And they've got Paul Davis Restoration Construction right behind them. And they serve people in the time of need when they have suffered a disaster. The event may be fire, water, mold, or storm damage in Cory Harness. Uh, and they have 30 people with them today, and we appreciate people like that in the community. And there's their van. Oh, that's a pretty van. Yeah. Well, you can't miss that one. No, you can't. Water, fire, mold, and storm. Boy, thankfully that we're up here instead of in Florida and Texas, so that those people wouldn't be able to be here today. Boy, you know, and that's a community that's really rallied together. In fact, uh, uh, you know, I'm pretty proud of it. We uh, we had one of our firefighter paramedics who's part of the medical team that goes. Oh, really? And uh, he came back, and this is an amazing uh, employee, uh, an amazing firefighter paramedic, so compassionate, just love this guy. And it was touching to hear him oh. tell his story about how he was seeing these same folks over and over daily oh. to have bandage, you know, new bandages treated, yeah. injuries treated. Uh, it actually, you know, there was oh. some pain involved on his end too, having, oh. to, having to be a part of that. But so oh. giving and so caring, and he actually wanted to stay longer than he could, but it was just amazing that he did that. So wow. hats off well, to him. And I'm so proud of him. This is this which uh, Christian Church, they've been involved in the community since 1961. It reaches out to uh, Wood Elementary School with a supply and book drive. Uh, they are involved with charities such as Snowcap, the Dougie Center, the Meals on Wheels, and my father's house. They also participate, oh, in the live nativity scene every year, which is outside of the church, which people can go by and walk up. Everybody dresses you yes. know, like, it's so, it's it so is cool. Neat. It, it is, is really so cool. cool. So our yellow sponsor, they're going to turn the lights on for us, Portland General Electric. PGE and Larry and the Light Bulb making their debut appearance in the Teddy Bear Parade. Thanks very much, Larry the Light Bulb. Uh, his first year in the Teddy Bear Parade, our 35th year. Oh, Larry the Light Bulb's looking sharp. Going to keep yes. East County powered up. They want to remind us about ways to stay safe around electricity. Always stay away from down power lines. Never mix water electricity. And always call Amen. 811 before you dig. Please be responsible and understand how, how hard they work, especially in times of need. The storms, they are all oh. over restoring power. They do an amazing job. PGE, Absolutely. thank you. Absolutely. Here's some more. Here's some more. There Moving we go. Moving right along. Outstanding. Everybody wants to know, when's my power going to get turned off? And yep. They even have a line now that will give you an estimate. It's pretty amazing. Oh, is amazing. that right? Yes. Okay, so here, oh, look at we got we got a cute little car here. That's really great. They came out in full force. And Larry the light bulb, I, I don't yeah. know that I've ever met him. Well, we need next year we'll get him lit up. Yeah. <laughs> we'll try that. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's, it's catching now. Yeah. So now we have Metro East, which is an in-kind in -kind sponsor, who we are doing this for today. Of course. So Metro East provides free and low-cost training, technology, and studio space to create your own media content for TV and online. You and I have both gone in there and done... Um, you know, promote whatever oh, program oh, we're Monica on. Monica Weitzel's program. She's That's, amazing. Oh, she is. And so here we have Norma Salias. She's another 2017 Live Your Dream Award winner from Sir Optimist. The Center for Family Success, Pathfinders of Oregon. Pathfinders of Oregon pro uh, provides justice-involved individuals and families the tools and support they need to be safe and thrive in their communities. Pathfinders supports families with parenting classes, early childhood visiting, youth mentoring, recovery mentoring, and reentry support. They're all offered free of charge to residents of Multnomah County. Great. That okay, is wonderful. so now we have Bateman and Carroll Funeral Home, and they're celebrating life with dedication, excellence, and innovation in the community since 1931 with dignity and honor. And Jim Jackson, I think, is the one that will be driving this today. Boy, that's a pretty car, too. Oh, a little 57 Chevy. Is Who that wouldn't what that want is? that car? That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Very nice. Oh! oh. Anderson Martial Arts. They've been a proud member of Gresham for 32 years. Grandmaster Dan Anderson, the highest degree black belt in East County, leads the group. 
We'll continue to provide the best service to our students from 3 to 80 years of age. That's what they say. Somebody three years old. And where's the 80-year-old doing this? I'd, I'd love to see him. I don't know. But, but he, I don't necessarily want to oh, spar. Oh, here we my have goodness. Portland Sky, Skyliners Tall Club. And they're here today as ambassadors for the Tall Club, including Miss Tall Portland 2017, uh, Michelle Wolf, and Mr. Tall Portland, Meryl Jack, uh, Jensen. They, it, it is a social club for women 5'10 and over and men 6'2 and up. The club supports scholarships for high school graduates and contributes to the Marfan Foundation. That's great. So Michael Johnson and daughter riding the parade. Michael Johnson's daughter with her best friend, Barry the Bear. Other wow. friends accompany them along with chauffeur Phil Rice driving his own car. Two big bears. Yes. So this you. is Kiwanis Club of Columbia Gorge. And they are, their mission is to help children in serving their communities. They've raised scholarships. Money both for uh, Corbett and Reynolds High Schools. They also work with other nonprofits such as the Lions Club and Snowcap. And John Owens is the one for them today. And they all have a flag. I like this. Isn't this great? Just the display of the flag as I it's changed like over the years. How about yep. that? Isn't that great? The 48 star flag, the 49 star flag, 50. the 50 star flag. And you know, I just want to stand right now. I got to tell you. Well, I, I love amen. it. Thank you amen. so much. Thank you so much for bringing those flags out and bringing them to our attention. There it is right there, One Nation Under God, Christian Patriots of America. They love the USA, stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, and stand at the attention of the Star-Spangled Banner. God's blessed this country in the past. We need to turn back to God so this country can be great again. David Alt promotes God and country. David Alt, thanks for your message, and uh, nice work. So now we have the Corbett Cheer Club, and the Corbett Cheer Club is, is a kindergarten through eighth grade spirit club. They support our community and local athletes at games and other community events. They're located in Corbett, but cheerleaders come from all schools are welcome. And Sandra Romaki is uh, their leader today, and they have 20 to 25 marchers. And That's dancing ahead time. of them, or right behind them, is Deborah Messenger School of Dance. They wow. are just great. So yep. ages just walk into adults in many forms of dance. Deborah Messenger. So they've been part of this for quite a while. Oh, they they've have. been starting to sew. Come on in and do a free trial. They have. Located on the corner of Kelly and Burnside between Arby's and Skateboard. Right. So, guess who this is? Well, Gresham Sanitary Service. Yes, and they have been doing this at every one of our parades. They are a local family owned business in the city of Gresham for almost 70 years. They pride themselves in not only providing service to the customers, but finding ways to exceed it. And we're happy that they're here today. And boy, do we need them. And then look who we have, they Greg. Great. The Miller's very generous to this community. Always, Always involved. Always. Gresham Sanitary, thanks for all you do. From father to sons, it just continues yep. to be great. And thank you for everything. And so here comes some of Gresham Finest that you know a little bit about, Greg. I do know these folks. And this is Gresham Fire Truck 71 and Engine 71 and our battalion chief. There's some great folks there. Captain there Joshua go. Butler. And of course, Kevin Larson, he is the union president for Local 1062. Ah. They do great charity in the in the uh, community as well. And Engine 71, I see that we've got uh, a few folks there as well. Grant Kimball driving, and maybe Jay Cross at the helm there as the captain. And uh, Keston Kim, we'll be promoting that guy by the end of the year, so oh, we're really? excited to see oh, him great. too. Local kid done well. And then Eric Lofgren. And let me just say, Battalion Chief Eric Lofgren in the Tahoe, these folks are the suburban. Uh -huh. They've been very busy during the wildland fires, and they've yes. done some great work. And Chief Lofgren, one of, uh, one of our chiefs that went forward on those, uh, Chief Traeger, Chief McGowan, they've just done wonderful work around the lodge. Got a lot of credit for it, but they were part of a huge team throughout the state and just wow. love the work they do. Gresham Fire and Emergency Services, we love you. The great Amen. men and women that serve this community, they're very dedicated, just like our police department, just like the entire city hall. As you know, yeah, I know. we are surrounded by great people to include this great We're very business fortunate. community and yeah. our folks at Metro East. So we have great leadership all the way around. Absolutely. We so, absolutely do. So, hey, Carol, Greg, I, I want to put a bow on it really quick, but I want to just mention this. Your, we talked a little bit about the Live Your Dream Education Training Awards, and they have until November 15th. So you yes. can apply until November 15th, yes. and that's important. Please take advantage of that if you're one of those young ladies out there that would benefit from this program. Absolutely. November 15th. The other thing is 40 years for the Seropomus. Well, you know, I've been in it for 39 years. Amazing. And um, it's been a wonderful organization. I'm very proud of it. We, I've uh, got lifelong mem uh, friends from it. We have done so much in the community. And this is such a privilege for us to do this every year. We're just thrilled to death to be able to participate this way and provide an entertainment for our, for our community. And I want to thank you, Greg, oh, thank again you. for another wonderful year of coming and helping us. I look forward to it every year with you. And you're, you do such 
such wonderful things in the community. I'm well, so proud of you. you. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased to do it and privileged to be asked. So thank you so much. And folks, that's going to put a bow on it and wrap it up for you. This is our 35th annual Sir Optimus International Teddy Bear Parade right here right. smack dab in the middle of Gresham, Oregon, USA. We are excited to bring it to you. Metro East is going to show this throughout the year. You're going to love it again when you watch it over and over and over. <laughs> Hope to tune in the next year. And keep in mind, we dodged the rain this year. We'll do it again I next know, year. I know. Isn't Carol, that wonderful? For Carol Nielsen, myself, and all the Sir Optimus in this entire city of Gresham, thanks for tuning in. And have a great day. And we'll Thank see you, you next so year. Thank you so much. Thank you.